Hello, this is Art Rowe with lsntap.org. I'm doing a 2018 year in review looking at some of the top 10 questions people have asked us through our help desk or how we can help you. I'm Sart, I run the National Technology Assistance Project. Please feel free to email me any questions that you've got. Number 10, a lot of people have asked us how to do YouTube videos. In fact, we co-hosted the Seattle YouTube Creators Day that had creators with over 2 million viewers there. We know a lot about best practices. We also have Daniel Ettinger in-house here at Northwest Justice Project that has helped several people start YouTube channels this year. Number nine, basic help with technology and baselines. We did a series of videos on how to get your technology up to the baselines. We're willing to answer basic questions and help you find resources to train your staff. Number eight here, help with social media. This is a slide from a presentation we did with Just Tech this year. We get a lot of questions over how do we do social media aimed at clients? How do we do it aimed at fundraisers? Having a value focused approach and using best practices from Voices for Civil Justice is what we strongly recommend. But we've got full guides about social media, which will be linked in the description to this. Hardware help. People ask us, where can I find a scanner that I can use portably for a decent price? What type of a microphone should I be using? Or how do I record audio at a conference? Or should I be using a Chromebook or a Surface? We will do the research and we will get back to you with recommendations. We also post some of those recommendations directly to our blog. Model forms. A lot of people have asked in the last year, what type of a privacy policy should we be using? We just redid the privacy policy at lsntap.org to be compliant with GDPR. That is a model policy. We can also get you a link to the current draft that is being discussed. We're on version three. We also came up with a model copyright and personal release. Both of these are things that I would recommend taking to your in-house counsel, but they give you a starting point that's done in plain language, that includes icons, that is very simple to read and use. We get a lot of questions about where can I get assets to use for our website. We've got a whole guide that we put out a few years ago on finding images and the basics of copyright, but two of the biggest places that I refer people are the Creative Commons search function that searches several different sites for things that are licensed in an open way, or the Noun Project, which has incredible icons that help add usability and readability to any legal document. Number four thing is help with software, whether it's internal software that is specific to legal services, such as Legal Server or Kemp, if you need to compare those things, or more importantly, find programs that use them that can give you honest reviews, email us, let us know. We will also evaluate external software, screen capture software. We've used both open broadcast software and Camtasia and a lot of others for making videos just like this. But if you need software for, for a particular purpose, feel free to ask us and we can get you some recommendations and some community members that have used that software that will give you their experiences. Number three spot here is anything cutting edge. We are willing to look into and help you set up anything that is beyond the baselines. So if you want to live stream a training that you are having in some way, we can help you find the right solution to do that, to reach either your clients or your fellow advocates. Security help is one that we get a lot of questions about. We worked with Tech Roundtable this last year and put up all of their How to Become a Security Ninja series. We did specific videos on LastPass, on how to set up a password manager. There are several other good password managers out there like KeePass, NPass, Dashline. If you're considering using a piece of security software, we're willing to give you honest feedback on it and help you find the best way to implement it. If you have questions about how to train your staff, to avoid phishing or encryption based attacks. We're happy to help set up those trainings and find ways to reach out to your staff that is gonna be efficient and effective. Knowledge management, we get a lot of questions about every year. Uh, In-house here at Northwest Justice Project, we've got a SharePoint site and we also use uh, Metasher to search people's hard drives and share knowledge that is within the organization. There was a beautiful manual put out this year, a toolkit for legal aid organizations on knowledge management. It's one of four toolkits. Those other toolkits include some of our other major areas, such as 
call centers and security. All of those toolkits are linked in the end of this video. So we have giant resources like these toolkits or we're willing to answer one on one questions from organizations and connect you with other community members. I also strongly recommend joining the email list. This is probably the most common question that we get is how can I connect with the community? The URL is there, but you can also just email us directly. If you do not have an account that is associated with a Google account, we can add anyone on. Additionally, send us your questions. That's what we're here for. We're here to answer your questions. Thank you. This has been Sart Rowe with Legal Services National Technology Assistance Project. Check out our website and email us. Give us your name, what the question is, and what legal services organization or organization that works with legal services organizations you're with, and we will get back to you with an answer within a few days, sometimes even same day. Thank you so much. Please leave your questions in the comments or send them directly to us and subscribe to the channel.